you. So the Mi A2 comes in a standard box type for Xiaomi. They don't want to spend additional money on boxing and it shows here. And this is a global version Android 1 phone. This means it's powered by Google's own software solution. It has a 12 plus 20 megapixel rear cameras. It has uh, a face ID, which it really doesn't have actually. And it also has Snapdragon 660 powering it. This is a very uh, budget friendly flagship worthy device is what Xiaomi is selling here. Well, let's first see what's in the package. So you have a USB Type-C to a 2.5mm headphone jack converter and a SIM tray pin. So it looks like the Mi A2 does not have a headphone jack, but let's test that out later. Oh, probably Xiaomi decided to throw up in there. We'll see about it. And um, besides the package, that's just it. A silicone case, a rather good one. Um, the USB Type-C converter, SIM tray pin, a very tightly put in the box USB Type-C cable and of course a uh, European type plug charger. Um, I did read somewhere that the A2 features a quick uh, charging solution like Falcon's uh, Quick Charge 2.0 uh, but it appears that the charger inside the box is not open up. It says it's a 10 watt charger rather than an 18 watt one which could charge 2.0 offer. I'm yet to test that so I'm just, just citing the specs here, but you probably need a quick charge 2.0 charger to buy separately to get the Mi A2. Now let's go from here. It's a slim, it's a very nice looking device, like a black version. It has a USB Type-C uh, port and it looks much more premium than the Redmi Note 5 Pro, as did last year's Xiaomi Mi A1 did compared to the Redmi Note 4. Uh, it is sand blasted back, uh, something you're probably familiar if you've seen a OnePlus phone, besides the OnePlus 6 that is. The new dual camera is here, but it protrudes quite a lot. There's the IR blaster on the top, uh, on your right is the power and volume rocking switch, which are very, very stable. It's a very well put together phone, and on the bottom you have the micro, sorry, USB type C port, and as you can see, there is no headphone jack, so Xiaomi decided to scratch that. Uh